Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is The Timster. Today I'm going to be going over how to create this ATM here from scratch. So we're going to be modeling it and then we'll be texturing it and then baking all the textures together so they look something like this. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm going to do is open up a new blend file. We're going to choose Blender Game Engine, GeoSL, animation frame rate of 60. Cool, so now what we're going to do is we're going to press numpad 1 and then we're going to press numpad 5 to go into orthographic view press tab and then Z to go into wireframe A to deselect, B to box select and then select the top here then press E to extrude and we want to move it up then E to extrude again and this is going to be the sort of curved face E to extrude again and then basically just want to move it all the way up to the top here. Then what I'm going to do is select this part here and just move it down a bit like so. Alright, so this here is going to be our face. Now the top of it will probably be a bit thinner so I'm going to hold down ALT and then right click and there we go until we have this loop selected. Then numpad 1 and let's just move it up alright and then we'll want this one here to be moved up as well numpad 1 and just move it in a bit alright I'm going to add another one here another loop cut control R and that should be good it's a little bit high so let's go ahead and move it all down a bit then press control R and then click and we'll move it out to the side here maybe inwards a bit, GY and then control R again and maybe a bit more this way alright and then we have the sort of slot machine where you go and put the card or whatever in so control R over here and we're gonna have a little break between them so control R again and we have a gap on this side now it is a little wide so I'm gonna select this and then just move it across so now what we're going to do is we're going to select these two and then press E to extrude and then basically just move it in. Alright cool so now you can press S and then shift Y so we just scale it up and down like so then making sure I'm in face select mode I'm going to select this and press E to extrude as well then we'll also press S and shift Y now I'm going to go into line select or edge select and drag this backwards and then we're going to also move it up a bit like so that's where the keyboard will go now our loop cut here for the screen should probably be a bit further up so I'm going to move it up as well and just move it in a little bit like so alright there we go nice and smooth now what we're also going to do is go into face select select the screen by itself and then choose smooth on the faces so now what we're going to do is give it a material looks like it already has one so new material no specular and then we'll scroll down all those settings are fine and then we need to give it a new texture now the main texture for this is a metal texture around the outside so go ahead to CG textures here and then what we're going to do is go to metal and we'll choose bare and then scroll down until you see this one right here click on it and 154 this one right here so click on it and download now we're also going to need some textures for the screen and for the keypad so go ahead to various and then we'll want to scroll down until we find the appropriate ones so this one here is what I used for the keypad as you can see here so go ahead and download this texture as well now the other texture I used was called various 0719 and that is this one here so go ahead and download that as well so back in blender here we're gonna go ahead and open up the metal texture now what we're gonna have to do is press ctrl A apply the scale tab and then A to select everything A to select everything again 
uh, just smart UV project. You can properly unwrap it if you want to, but this way is just easiest. And then now we'll select Hemi to make sure we can see everything, and then just sort of line it up nicely. So first of all, we want to get rid of those edges. So new window, just by hovering there and dragging. Then UV image editor, and then press tab with it selected. And there we go, select metal. So to get rid of these harsh lines, I think, yeah, they're on both sides, sort of around the whole top. So we're going to press B to box select, select it, and then GY, and then just move it up above. So you'll notice it sort of stretches the texture a bit. So if you want to, we can just go ahead and move everything else up as well slightly. All right, so maybe face select mode is better for this. So uh, with this back face here, I'm just going to box select as much of it as I can. So press C, and then you can just sort of circle select over it. There we go. And then A to select everything, and we'll just move it backwards. This top here probably needs some attention as well. And then just move that down. If you also want to, you can rotate it 90 degrees if that sort of fits better. Maybe I'll just do that. We'll change the bottom as well. So A to select everything, move it down. Also, one more thing we need to change is the bottom here. So select, uh, I guess, just the front here, and then move it up. OK, so as you'll notice with the texture here, it's quite like white, contrasted. So you have some black values and white values, but not much gray. And just typically from metal, uh, it will be a bit more grayish and sort of less contrasted. So we're going to go ahead and open up GIMP and just do some small modifications. Now what I'm going to do is under colors here, uh, just turn down contrast and maybe turn down brightness as well. Okay, something like that, roughly up to you. You can also use um, hue saturation or color balance or levels or whatever else you want to. Now what you want to do is export as and name this something else. So alternate or something. And then go ahead and click export. Once you've exported it, you want to go to file, open recent and just reopen this file. So for this texture, we're going to go ahead and we will generate a specularity map. So then we're going to go to filters and then map and insane bump. If you don't have this, don't worry, it's a plugin. I've made a tutorial on how to install it if you want it. So links down in the description below. Basically click insane bump, uh, it will do all of the stuff it usually does. So once you're happy with these results, just go ahead and click execute. Then we're going to go back into Blender here, select our object. Let's go ahead and call it ATM. And then we'll go over here and we'll open up our sort of dull version. All right, so it should look something like this. Then we're going to go ahead and go over here, click new, and then open up the specularity. So the specularity file here will have an S at the end. Uh, you'll notice the other ones have different endings at the end of the name. So this one will have S. So then click open, scroll down, choose these three, turn off color. And so now if you go into lamp, all right, and you can see some of the reflections like so. If you want to, what you can also do is go ahead and invert this, so negative, and then you'll get slightly less, which actually looks a bit better. So go back to the material tab and then click new, new material. Uh, no specular, and we'll scroll down, next, new, and in here we're going to open up our first texture. Alright, so various 906, and what we're going to do here is press uh, tab to go into edit mode, face select, select this face here, and then we'll press U and unwrap, and then go over to material tab, select this, and click assign. All right. So tab again, go into edit mode, select the correct one, A, and then R90, then S to scale, and we want the keypad here. So it's going to be a little stretched, but it should be able to fit. So R to rotate, and then 180, and then there we go. It's fairly well. If you want to, you can just sort of scale along both sides. 
like this if you think that looks better uh, again up to you if you want to use something else you can as well and the original one I literally just went like this and just stretched the texture across the whole thing you don't really seem to notice but um, yeah maybe we'll just slightly stretch it like so okay so that looks fine then what I'm going to do is we will go ahead and add a new texture for the screen and for the ATM slot here so another material click new no specular new texture then open up the second texture alright so once you open it up uh, select this again tab and then select these two faces U and unwrap and select this face U and unwrap and then we'll select all three down here choose this one and so now for the screen uh, A to select everything SY and we'll just sort of scale it to fits now you'll notice we aren't getting the right texture here so material tab select the last one assign and then just sort of scale it in until we have the correct dimensions alright so something like that I'm happy with that then we're going to go ahead and do this one here so A to select everything, scale it down and we just really want this uh, slot here so scale it accordingly and then click assign as well so now before we bake it all together I'm going to select this front face here and press E to extrude and just move it in so this is going to be the dispensary slot then SZ and then just move it up. Cool. Actually, maybe we'll move it down. Alright, and then what you'll need to do is also unwrap all of this. You let's just go smart and scale it down to a realistic size. Okay. Cool. So R90. And that seems to fit in well. Oop. you want to have the sort of same resolution as out here alright so I'm happy with that now what we're going to do is bake it all together so select this and what we're going to do is first of all under our UV maps click plus one and let's just call this bake so once you've done that uh, what we're going to do is press tab and then A to deselect, A to select everything and then press U Smart UV project, and before you click OK, add some margin to it so we don't get too much like crossover. Then click OK, and that will have unwrapped it for us. Now, what we want to do is click plus to make a new image, and this here we're going to go ahead and call texture, so maybe ATM texture, and then set the size to probably 512. You can bake it at 1024 and then scale it down in GIMP or something afterwards. Uh, but just for now, I'm just going to do 512. There we go. And then, as you can see, it's all squished in one side. So let's just select everything and scale it out. Basically, what you want to do here is use up as much space as you can. Because the more space you use up, the more pixels you have, which means your textures look better. Alright, so that should be good enough. You'll notice these textures uh, don't really seem to like it much. So to fix that, we're going to go over here, choose our first material, and then scroll down, choose UV map, and then do the same for this one here, UV map. And then we'll go back here, second material, do the same thing, UV map and then for the last one as well UV map alright so once you've gone ahead and assigned UV map to all of them we're going to go back here and then press tab making sure we have bake selected and then what we're going to do is go over here scroll down and we'll choose bake scroll down even further and choose textures so click bake so now you'll notice we have the screen here and the keypad they're very small and pixelated same with this one over here so what I might do is select this here and just move it over here and scale it up alright so something like that we may as well move this over as well and now that will give more space for our screen which can't really fit in here anyway so let's select the uh, insertion point 
We can scale that up, put it here instead, and press R90, rotate it 90 degrees, and move it over here. It's probably a good idea. Alright, so again, make sure you give it some margin so we don't get too much uh, pixel crossover. So let's scale it up a bit more, put it in the middle here, and then click Bake again. So again, as you'll notice, uh, the more area we give to these faces, the more pixels we get in each one, which makes the texture here look better. So now what I'm going to do is click Image, Save as Image, and then let's go on our desktop here, make a new folder, call it ATM, and then ATM here. Uh, let's go ahead, full compression, RGB, ATM texture, or you can just call it Diffuse. Alright, then save as image. Okay, and next one is going to be specular colors, I think. So now before we continue, what we might do is on our material here for the screen, we might go ahead and give it full specularity, like so. Then click bake. Alright, and then image, save as image again, and instead of diffuse, we're going to rename it to specular. Specular. Alright, and full again. Then save as image. So now there's only one thing left, and that's the ambient occlusion. So to do that, we need to go over into Blender Render, go to the World Settings, choose Ambient Occlusion, maybe turn it down to 0.8 and then samples here will turn up to maybe 20 then we're going to go over here choose ambient occlusion and then choose bake so this process here can take a while depending on the capabilities of your computer so just let it sit if it hasn't finished already you can also turn down the samples if you want but that makes it a bit more grainy so yeah again up to you once it's baked it should look like this and then click save as image and this time put AO for ambient occlusion. Alright, turn it up to full, save as image. Then we're going to go into GIMP here and open up our file. So in our desktop folder here that we made and save the images, we want to have diffuse and then open as layers and we want the AO. So the AO here we want to multiply. Now of course it's very strong at the moment so let's go ahead and turn it down. So you can export it out, then test it, and then turn it up and down again. So let's go ahead and export as, and then let's call it underscore final texture, and then click export. Now here I'm going to select this, shift D to duplicate, GY, move it across, and then let's call it ATM optimized, and in here get rid of all of these. We also don't need UV map anymore, we only need bake, and then we'll click new, no specular, and then new here as well, click open, go to our folder here and choose final texture then click open again, I'm going to select hemi alright so now what we can do is add the specular as well new texture and then open ATM specular alright and then down here we'll turn off color and choose the last three alright so let's go ahead and select point lamp over here. So yeah, that's about it. That's how to make an ATM for your games in the Blender Game Engine or any other game engine that you want to use. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, or share down below. All of that stuff would be greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, then feel free to subscribe if you want to stay updated for more tutorials. But apart from that, that'll be it from me, so hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next one.